Good morning, afternoon, whatever time it is back home with you guys to all of you. Thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, we're back. We're we back, back on the river flow with Mr. Yes. Chris Willen. Oh my god. We got gosh. some revenge. We got some revenge. Uh, the river didn't wasn't nice to us last time <laughs> yeah we had some brutal weather last time we were out with chris here and uh yeah we've got some fish to make yeah, up yeah. like one, i've been seeing some really big fat yeah. ones it's been good yeah it's been good wow. holy cow it's the i guess they as they say tis the season yeah wow it's october fish are fattening up what's the conditions like today chris uh well we got some overcast guys it's a little chilly uh we're looking at a warm warm up tomorrow mm -hmm. so um could see some fish on the transition and you know we've got a little bit of high water here in the river so we're going to be kind of looking at our high water spots mm -hmm. consolidated uh, consolidated yeah, angling right <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um you know one of the one of the things that we're going to do today because the water is so high is we're going to double up and we're actually going to do two floats today okay. so we're oh, gonna going a little faster <laughs> we're going to yeah. go a little faster we're going to go a little bit longer and we're going to uh you know hit the spots yeah. and, and kind of cruise in between the the marginal stuff yeah okay wow. well let's not waste another <laughs> minute it is river buskies off the grid let's go do it okay folks i am about to unleash what is probably going to be the sweetest musky rod ever made ever this is the nine foot chaos tackle assault stick in the no telescoping model nine foot telescoping i am willing to bet this will be the most versatile all-around best musky rod on the market the fact it is telescoping you can fit it in your truck you can fit it in your rod locker you can fit it anywhere you want a nine foot rod to go thing collapses down to like uh, seven four or seven five, I believe. That is going to be a huge convenience factor for any musky angler. Oh wow! Yep, first fall of the day, <laughs> little guy. Okay. Yep. Come on! Oh, he's still on there. Still on there. Still on there. Yep. 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 Come on! We're in some heavy, heavy current. He came up on it a couple times. That's okay. Moving musky already this morning. I'll take that. First fish up on the Angry Dragon, black orange. Does that look like a northern Wisconsin color to you? I think so. Awesome. Oh, got him, got him. All right. I thought I had a bite there. I thought, oh, don't jump in, don't jump in. All right. We have got a musky on the board. Ooh. Bam, on the Levi. Thank you, sir. So, he did bump it out from the boat. I definitely had a bump. And I'm like, God, what just happened there? Sorry, Rebby. Oh, good. And uh, something did happen out there. I definitely had a miss on this fish. Obviously, it's, it's a big bait for this size fish. So they don't always get it in their mouth, but the second time was a charm. Awesome. On the board, sick. That did not take too long, and it was on a bait I haven't caught a fish on for uh, a month or so. Super cool. Look at the green sheen on those things. Those Wisconsin greenies, look at that. Beautiful river fish. So cool. That fish did hit it one time, missed it, <laughs> came back and ate it right there at both sides freaking awesome oh let's put her back eh? i think she's gonna go <laughs> yeah super cold water i'm just gonna let her go drift back a little bit she's good to go i think yes that was freaking cool man redemption yeah we redemption <laughs> we have officially got the skunk out of the boat that's a great warmer up fish and we're one man. for two yeah so yeah that's right we had the other one up too as well very cool. I'm having fun. Okay, folks, that was on the Lee Lures Leviathan. And I've got this rigged up with uh, some lead in here. This is a, let's see, uh, the bait comes with two two ounce, two one and a halfs, and two one ounce weights. And I've got the one and a half in the front and a one ounce in the back, which gives me uh, a delayed rise time on the bait. So not neutrally buoyant, just a nice, perfect, slow rise. 
for early fall muskies. What are, oh, no, no. What is that? What are you? You got a walleye. No. Oh, no. That is a musky. Oh, no. All right, let's just leave her in the water, eh? So pretty. Bye-bye. All right, that's a two musky day. That's, that's, All right. uh, that's a one and a half musky day. <laughs> two Play, for three. We'll take it. Two for three. Right on the end of that little bush is all it was. Let me, let me get a better look at that thing. They seem to be liking this that thing. That thing's kind of getting a little attention pretty quickly it is. here. Bright, bright. You know, I thought they were, you're supposed to use dark colors on dark days. That, use whatever <laughs> color you want to use on whatever color day it is. Who cares? <laughs> That's the magic chopper right there. Oh, big one! Net, 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 net! Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh! Oh. Yes! I got a giant! <laughs> dude, I just smoked a freaking river monster! <laughs> Holy crap! Wow. Tank, dude. Yeah! Wow! <laughs> That's a. What is it doing? What in is here? this thing? <laughs> what just happened? Oh my god. Oh my god. That just happened. She's mean. My camera's running. Well, like I said, that second float really. Uh... Holy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't know. I want my mom right now. Oh my gosh, that is a big animal. That's a beaut. Look Holy at her tail. Holy crap. That's, That's my biggest fish on the Levi, definitely. Well, I didn't want to go to this eddy, but we did anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to hold out on no, us? I just was like, eh, it's kind of shallow over there. Wow, unbelievable fish. Okay, let's get a look at this river monster, Chris. That is a giant dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at that unbelievable fish on the Levi. Now, if that isn't one badass river monster, I don't know what is. That was such that an eye. amazing That's eat. one eye, one's punctured or something. Wow. This is definitely an old fish. She's been around the river super, kicking for a long time. Super old tail. Wow, yeah, the tail's pretty. You've probably seen this one someday in your lifetime. Probably have seen this girl. Wow, how cool. <laughs> I don't know how long it is, but it's definitely approaching. I'd say mid 40s. Definitely. Uh, it's gotta be 47, I bet. Let's get her back. Wow, unbelievable. Got a river monster on the Levi. Incredible animal. Okay, get the tail. Oh, she's already gone. Wow. Ooh, that's bigger than 45 now that you see Dude, it. Dude, that, that, <laughs> that was definitely 47, knocking on oh 48, I bet. Holy nice. cow. Wow. <laughs> Sick, man. That was incredible. I that, loaded up into that thing and the head just come up and I, all I saw was white mouth going like this. That eat was... I knew she was pinned. It looked like she was pinned good. <laughs> I'm out of breath. That was freaking incredible. Thank you, sir. You Redemption! Need, you need to go out with this guy, <laughs> Chris Willen. We will leave all his information down in the description to get on a sick river trip like this. Incredible.
That kind of just happened. Congrats, buddy. Holy crap, that was kind of a life-changing moment right there. This thing's getting the bites. That's three on this bait. Three bites. Changed. Three in the boat. <laughs> Robbie has changed. Robbie's got himself a Levi. Uh, uh, yeah, that you go with what's working. Did you expect one here? I mean, I don't see one here every time. It's a nice little break in the current. Got her, got her. Got her. Bit. Yeah, one. Okay. <laughs> so, do you expect one here? <laughs> Not every time. Just, just. But this time, yes. Oh, that's a nice looking clean fish, man. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Another one on the board. On the Leviathan. I'm like, uh, do you expect one here? Um, not every time, he says. Wow, that just happened. That's a nice, clean-looking fish, too. Beautiful. Yes, sir. Cool. Give her, get, get her back, maybe. Ready. Absolute banger day on our hands right now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I cannot even believe. I I don't, I don't even know how say. many we fish, have. Four fish. I can't yeah. even count to four right now, dude. That is <laughs> sick. Boy, I'm, this bait is freaking on fire. Holy mackerel. It's time. It's fall. It's jerk bait time. It's October, baby. Wow. That was real similar, too, on the same kind of break, like just as you get off that main kind of shelf or whatever. You know, we've got really high water right now, so the fish are. Uh... They're going to be concentrated in, in some, some, some smaller Tight. spots. You know, we've got a nice eddy right there where that fish came out of. Anything they can do to get off the treadmill is the, what they're going to be doing right now. And uh, we can all relate to that, right? <laughs> I feel like I'm on the treadmill right now. I'm freaking shaking, man. I can't even get this bait out of the net. I think this bait has now been musky approved. That's four fish in one day. Half a day. <laughs> yeah, half a day. Yeah, that's that's a good point. But uh, yeah, the bright color like that, I just I love watching the bait. You know, it looks great. I mean, those colors, and I really like the barring in here. And I think you got it weighted just perfect right look, now. Look, look at this in the current. Look at this bait. I'm not even doing anything, and it's working all by itself. Look at that. That is sick right there. Tell me that don't catch fish. Let's go get some more of these things. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. What, I, what the? Yeah, yeah. That, what the heck? No. Yo, oh, I got one. Holy crap. Oh, big one, too. Another big one. Holy crap. That thing, I didn't even, it was so weird. These river fish are so bizarre. Oh, my. Good. Let flop around a little bit. There we go. <laughs> Holy crap, what is happening? We just got unanchored. Unbelievable, dude. What is the freaking deal? <laughs> I have a, a muskie in here. <laughs> Look, mom, I caught one. <laughs> My bait was fouled and it jumped out of the water and then it righted itself and there was a fish on it. I'm not even kidding. Oh, yeah. Right. What the heck is happening? <laughs> we just released that other one. It's like, oh, we'll go over the other side of the river. We'll <laughs> see what that's going on on that spot. Holy crap, dude. Five fish, total banger day. Uh, my bait actually was fouled. It righted itself, and then there was a fish eating it. <laughs> Perfect. Let's get her back. I mean, we don't have... Might be 43. I better... I don't even know what the hell's <laughs> happening right now. Dude, this, yeah, you need to come do this because this is ridiculous. Bring your uh, Leviathan. Wow. Yeah, you might want one of these things this time of year out here, apparently. Yeah, you can see the shallow 
riffles here. Anytime you get a dive and rise bait like this or any other bait really, you don't want to be too much into the rocks or the bottom. I just kind of pull this bait upward a little bit. You don't have to jerk a jerk bait down all the time. With this much lead in the bait like this, it's gonna dive anyway. So just an upward rip of that bait will keep you skimming right over those boulders. Then also too, you may have noticed here, I have got a single strand, 174 pound wire leader, uh, directly split ringed to the front of the bait, and then just a looped end on the end of the other, yeah, I know what I'm saying. The other end of the wire is what I'm trying to get across here, but you'll also see I have a fluorocarbon leader up above my steel leader. Why do I have that? Because I am lazy and did not want to retie and put on just the one steel leader. Uh, as you can see, that has not hurt so far today. I don't think they're afraid of that fluorocarbon leader or that steel leader. Oh, musky! What the what is that? What happened? We floated over a rock. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I hope you had that. I, hope you I should that. have the chest well, but what the heck was that? That's two times this year. I'm not even working my lure and there's a muskie. <laughs> what the, what is that? How did I not? I like that. That's funny. No uh, way. That's not real. That I thought, was a monkey, wasn't it? That was a musky. <laughs> well, guys, here's a little update. Um, that was the first musky bite in I don't know how many hours. What, a couple. I mean, like a lot. Two, two plus, definitely yeah. two plus. Yep. Um, if you want to call that a musky bite, what I, was that? It bit my lure, and it literally we were floating over a giant boulder. My leviathan just floats over it, and then oh. musky out of nowhere. I don't know if our cameras got it, but yeah, that's been our only action for definitely a. Good few hours here. We're kind of getting to the end of our float a little bit here. Yeah, about three quarters of the way down. Yeah, yeah. So, epic day though. <laughs> Stellar day. Um, it was like really calm and kind of humid and warmish earlier, and the fish were biting. And then that wind picked up, and it definitely chilled down. Yeah. Yep. Um, and sort actually, of the action. <laughs> you know what? As a matter of fact, um, the, I just commented, what, 15 minutes before we rolled over that boulder. God, it's kind of calm again. It's kind of nice. Maybe we'll get one. And we did have that one roll over the action, boulder. So, I don't know. Hopefully we got a little evening bite coming here. How's the evening bite been? It's, you know? It's river fishing. River you never fishing. know. We got quite a few, I would say, pretty good high water spots coming yep. up. So, we definitely have a shot to get gotcha. number six. Yeah, wow. <laughs> six muskies possibly coming. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Crazy day on the water. Hopefully you can get one more. Oh God! Come on, come on! What is happening? Wow! No, not in the river, please. No, we need that bait back. Shut up! All right. I don't know. The way that was screaming, though. Oh man, that sucks. You can't rest. You can't rest. Robbie, what's going on? We have something, and it's in the river. We can't lose this lure, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I know. This is the first Levi, right here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> just wanna see it. It's right here. It's right it's here. <laughs> How is it still in there? <laughs> Does this remind you of anything? Yeah, Robin? it's a flashback. A little heavier gear though. There she is, yep. She is, she is wow, That's she's a, a good, one. look at it. Chris, look at this thing. <laughs> That's a dinosaur. Wow, that's not exactly that's what we were hoping one. for. Bye-bye. <laughs> that was tiring. <laughs> it's not, uh, that was definitely a big fish spot. Too bad we spooked it. I don't think we're getting back to no. it. That's <laughs> yeah. a long row. I think right about now is the appropriate time for that just happened. <laughs> wow, ow. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, that certainly concludes an absolutely epic day on the river. It's about as good as it can possibly get. <laughs> it don't get much better. <laughs> Holy yeah, crap. Really, really good day. Wow. Action from, what What, what was the total? Eight fish? Eight, eight or seven? nine. Eight I think nine. that, I don't know. Five, six, seven. I know eight, we snagged eight, the sturgeon. Eight, eight for sure. <laughs> yeah, five for eight for sure. With an absolute dinosaur of a muskie. I mean, that thing was, that's, that's what you dream so of when cool. you go on a trip like this. Yeah, I've absolute been waiting. Absolute giant, yeah. Been waiting a long time for something like that to come along. Yeah, it was such a sweet fight. That too. fish is probably older than me. Jeez, <laughs> I mean, wow, such a cool fish. So, if you guys want to get out on this adventure, I don't know if Chris has any open days this fall yet. Little, maybe, nah, maybe not, a couple. I yeah. got the other guys working with me too. They got gotcha. some days, but gotcha. uh, okay. next year. But next, next year, year, guys, if you want to plan something like this, I mean, it's it's literally a bucket list trip. I mean, you're casting at such cool objects. It's just so stimulating. All the time. Yeah, it's like on you, edge. Twelve-hour day feels like a four-hour day on most water. It's just so much fun. It's pretty much like a musky roller coaster. Yeah, <laughs> right, right, on right. The conveyor belt. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> for sure. So I'll leave all of Chris's information in the description below, and you can get out with him. Thank you, Chris. That Absolutely. Was super dope. Dude. Anytime, guys. Wow. Holy wow. cow, man! That was fun. There you have it. Thank you so much. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and be sure to check out Chris's stuff. And we will catch you on the flip flop. <laughs>